Hi, this is Tim Donahue, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your DSpace installation. For this example, I'm actually going to upgrade a DSpace 1.7 version on my local machine to DSpace 1.8. So this is my 1.7 install, and I've just got a custom theme on it, the Mirage theme. But other than that, it's very lightly customized. So the first thing I want to do before I actually start the upgrade process is take down Tomcat, which actually will shut down my current DSpace install. So I've got a folder open here, which is my Tomcat folder, and I'm actually going to open up a command prompt, a command window, and actually run the shutdown command from Tomcat to shut it down. So that's in the bin directory, and I'll run shutdown. So now my Tomcat is actually shut off and my DSpace install is unavailable from the web. And so now that Tomcat is shut down, I'm going to actually back up my existing DSpace installation. So if I go back to my folder here, my DSpace install, my 1.7 install, is located in C DSpace. And the folders here that are most important to back up are the Asset Store folder, which contains all of the DSpace content files, and the config folder, which contains all of the DSpace configuration files. If you wanted to, you could back up everything here in this directory, but at the bare minimum, you should back up these two folders. So once you have those backed up, the second thing that you want to back up is your actual DSpace database. To do that, it's almost easier to do it from the command line. So I'm going to open up a command window here. I've got Postgres running, so I'm going to use the pg dump command to actually dump my entire database to a file. Um, and I'm going to run it as my DSpace user in Postgres and dump it out to a temporary file that I'm going to call DSpace DB Backup.SQL. And I'm backing up my DSpace database within Postgres. If you were running Oracle, you'd have to figure out the best way to back up Oracle. But as you can see, this actually came back rather quickly. I have a very small database here. For a larger database, this may take a minute or two to actually dump all the content to a file. So now I'm fully backed up, and we can get on with the actual upgrade process. The first step to the upgrade process is to actually download the new version of DSpace. I already did that into a DSpace source folder here. This is the 1.8 source code. Um, more specifically, this is actually what we call the binary release. So it's pre-compiled code for DSpace that we can use to actually build DSpace 1.8. You could download either the binary release or the so source code release. Either one will work here. So again, I'm going to open up a command window in my DSpace source directory. Uh, from there, there's a subdirectory called DSpace, which is the build directory for DSpace. So I'm going to run a maven command. Let me get my mouse out of the way. maven-u clean package. The dash u option here just forces maven to refresh itself. So it'll go off and re-download any modules that are brand new. Uh, the clean command here will actually clear the local cache on your local machine. And the package part just rebuilds DSpace. So now we're going to wait here for a moment until this finishes building. It should only take a couple minutes. OK, so we're back and DSpace has finished building itself. So what it's done here behind the scenes is actually create a target directory. And in that target directory, there's a build directory. Um, for my build, my build directory has this RC2 on here because I'm building with an early release version of 1.8. Um, but normally, you wouldn't see that. It would just be 180-build. So from this build directory, we can actually use an ant command to actually upgrade our existing DSpace 1.7 directory to DSpace 1.8. So my ant command, I'm passing it a configuration file, which is my current DSpace configuration file. And remember, 
my current install is in C D space under config and D space CFG is the name of that config file. And then I'm going to pass ant the update command to tell it to update that existing D space installation. So now it's going through and it's actually updating all of my configuration files, all of my various modules, and my web applications in my current installation of DSpace. And it should be done here very shortly. There we go. The build was successful. So now if I go back to my existing DSpace installation, we'll actually see it backed up a couple directories of old content just in case you needed to go back and restore anything from there. Um, it just does this as a safety measure essentially. In our config directory it also backed up some of your old configuration files. So they'll be called .old on the end. And essentially what it's done is it's taken any of your older config files and prefixed them with .old and any of the new config files are actually compatible for DSpace 1.8. So you may need to merge the new configuration file with an old one if there's a certain configuration setting you want to move forward into the new version of DSpace. But for this example I'm going to leave everything as is and just use the default configuration files. So the next step is to actually upgrade our DSpace database. We upgraded the DSpace installation directory already. Now we upgrade the database. So we can do that back from our source directory. Underneath this DSpace folder, there's an ETC folder. And underneath there, there's a folder for both Postgres and for Oracle. We're going to go into the Postgres folder. In here is our database upgrade scripts. So in our instance, we're actually upgrading from 1.7 to 1.8. So we're going to use the database schema 1.7 to 1.8 upgrade script. If you wanted to do a multiple upgrade, you could actually run the 1.6 to 1.7 followed by the 1.7 to 1.8. And that would actually upgrade your database all the way from DSpace 1.6 compatible to DSpace 1.8 compatible. But for our purposes, we just need to upgrade from 1.7 to 1.8. We're going to use the PSQL command from Postgres. And again, we're going to run it as the DSpace user. This time we're passing it a file. And that particular file is our database schema file. And the upgrade from 1.7 to 1.8. And we're running that on our DSpace database. So this has gone off now and altered a couple tables and upgraded everything in my DSpace database so that it is now 1.8 compatible. Okay, so now we've upgraded both of our both our database and our file system. And so the next step here is we can go over to our existing installation, which is now freshly upgraded. And I'm going to just open up a new command window here to get into it quickly. In the bin directory here, we actually want to always re-index all of our DSpace content. This is usually just a safety measure to ensure that if anything changed within the underlying DSpace system, that all of your content has be, been re-indexed and updated to those particular changes. So from this bin directory, we can run the DSpace command and run index init to re-index all of our content. And this updates both our browse indexes and our search indexes within DSpace. And it may take a few minutes, especially if you have a large amount of content. This can take several minutes to complete. OK, so we're completed now. Uh, the next step here would be if you don't have your Tomcat actually pointed at your DSpace web applications, then you may need to copy over the brand new web applications that you want to run into your Tomcat Web Apps directory. The Tomcat Web Apps directory, sorry. Um, in my case, I actually have Tomcat pointed to this DSpace Web Apps directory. So it knows to look here for all of my web applications. So I can just go right to the next step of the upgrade process, the final step in fact, which is just to restart my Tomcat install. So we're going to go back, whoops, we'll go back to our Tomcat folder. 
and inside our bin folder we'll open up a command window and run up our startup command to restart our Tomcat installation. I'm going to close that and you'll see in this window to the side here my Tomcat is starting back up and it's pointed back at my brand newly upgraded DSpace 1.8 instance and it's finished. Now if we refresh our browser we'll actually see that I've defaulted back to the default DSpace theme because I haven't gone back and uh, re-updated all of my configuration files yet. But that could be the next step for you is, is to go back to your config directory and make sure all those old files have been merged into the brand new upgraded configuration files. But you can see all my content has came, come over safely and I'm, I'm fully upgraded to DSpace 1.8. I hope you found this to be a useful tutorial.